if you look at this as it stands, none of the numbers match up. In other words, I don't have two sixes or two threes or two just letters here. So here's where you have to use a little bit of I don't know, logic, common sense or something. You need to make two of the numbers the same. And if you use the same rule we talked about before, as long as you multiply everything in the equation by the same number, it keeps the same equation. So you sit back and you look at this and you go, you know, in order for this to cross off of something, the other one would have to be a positive 6, which I could do. I'd have to multiply by a negative 2. Or, if I look at this one, they're already, signs are already opposite. For this to cross off, this top would have to be a positive 18. And it doesn't matter which, which method you choose. I usually try to go with one where I have to choose, change the least amount of negatives and positives, because that's usually where things go wrong. So if I were doing this one, to get these to cross off, I'm looking to make this an 18, because 18 minus 18 is nothing. So I'm going to multiply everything on that top by a positive 2 and get a new equation that's going to have those 18s cross off. So when I do that, I end up with 18x. Uh, negative 6 times 2 is a negative 12y. And 2 times 3 is a positive 6. Stop me there if you don't get that. Yesterday we talked about just multiplying by negatives, but you can multiply by anything and get that same thing. Okay. So here, when I do my combining then, the 18s go away. You're left with minus 15y equals minus 15, believe it or not. And if you don't get them to work out, you probably did something wrong, because I'm sure all these do work out. Divide by negative 15, divide by negative 15, y equals 1. What's that? Well, Charlie, because I needed to make this an 18, 2 is the only thing I can multiply 9 by to get 18. I want these numbers to be the same, or these numbers to be the same. I could have multiplied this by a negative 2, would have got the same answer. But I look for the one where they're already the signs are already opposite, so I don't have to multiply by negatives, which sometimes. You're your own boss. Put 1 in for y. I would pick this one. It doesn't matter. 9x minus 6 times 1 equals 3. 9x minus 6 equals 3. Add 6. Add 6. 9x equals 9. x equals 1. And I divide by 9. So x equals 1, y equals 1. Just that fun. Same process as yesterday, but multiplying by numbers. If I asked you for problem number 6, logically, what would you do? How would you get these to have a thing that will be eliminated? What would you multiply what by to get what to go away? How? Um, the bottom set. Right. You want a positive 10x will cross off with a negative 10x. It's already a negative 5, so what do you multiply 5 by to get 10? 2. So I mean, this would be a negative 10x, positive 12 at y, minus Six. Shall I do that or you want to move on to the one more step there? Sure, let's do that. So rewriting this on the 10x minus 4y equals 22, negative 5x plus 6y equals negative 3. Holly said, let's multiply everything on the bottom by 2. And I would suggest you do this just so you don't forget to multiply everything by 2. You get a negative 10x, you get a 12y, and you get a minus 6. So we're not thinking about this equation anymore. X's cross off. Y's give me a 8y. 22 minus 6. 16, lucky for us. Divide by 8. Divide by 8. Y equals 2. How come you crossed off the middle? How come I crossed off who? No. Because I multiplied all those by 2 and I'm not looking at that anymore. I'm looking at the new equation I just used. Hey, Lord. 
Um, if, like, just in general, like, if there's, like, a number that, let's say, like, there's 17, like, you know what I'm saying, and so then you can't multiply anything to get 17, will that, like, ever happen? You know I saying? think your answer, will, your question will be answered by the next thing we talk about here. Okay. By the way, you will always, there's no way you could not find something to do this, and we'll talk about that from up here. So then if I put 2 and 4 y's, I'll do it in this one here, negative 10x plus 12 times 2 equals negative 6. Negative 10x plus 24 equals negative 6. Subtract 24, subtract 24, negative 10x equals negative 30, divide by negative 10, divide by negative 10, you get a positive 3 for x. Piece of cake, as they say in the bakery business. All right. Here is probably Taylor's question, maybe, maybe not. Okay. If you look at problem number seven, occasionally you will run across a problem that, if you look at them the way they stand, I cannot find something to multiply either equation by to get the number there. For example, nothing times 7 is going to give me 9, and nothing times 9 is going to give me 7, nothing times 6 is going to give me 7, nothing times 7 is going to give me 6, and blah, 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 blah. Which means, oh look, Kyle's got an answer. You're going to have to multiply both of them by something. Okay. In which case you want to ask yourself, it's a little like finding common denominators of fractions. What is, in your choice is either this one or this one, you don't have it. What's the smallest thing that both 9 and 7 go into? 63. 63. What's the smallest thing that 7 and 6 go into? 43. So you've got to get either 42s for both of them or 63s for both of them, and it doesn't really matter which one you pick. They're both opposite, so you you know, whatever. I'll just, let's just go with the Ys. So that means I need to multiply, to get 42, I have to multiply everything on top by 7s. And to get 42s on the bottom, I need to multiply everything on the bottoms by 6s. And you are a creator, so big numbers may come up here. I get, doing this top one here, negative 63. Uh-oh. I might do it down here. Negative 63x plus 42y equals 105 for the top one. Bottom one gives me 42x minus 42y equals negative 84. Everybody's happy? Hopefully the math doesn't trip us up here. Negative 63, positive 42. Looking for some help here? Negative 20. Negative 21x. Thank you. Let me see 25. These go away so we don't have to worry about them. Over here you get, oh, it's going to be positive. Positive 21. It's always happy when the numbers at least are the same because at least you know it's going to be Divide by negative 21. Divide by negative 21. X will equal negative 1. And again, it doesn't matter which of the four now equations you have. I don't know, I'm just going to go with this one. Let's pick this one here. 7 times negative 1, 7 times x, minus 7y equals negative 14. Negative 7 minus 7y equals negative 14. Add 7, add 7, I get negative 7. Negative 7, y equals negative 7, negative 7, negative 7. A lot of 7s. Y equals positive 1. And can I tell you, once again, you could solve these. This could be solved by graphing and it could be solved by substitution, but I don't believe you'd want to try either one of them. Graphing would be tough because you're going to have a hard time getting exact points. Yeah, it was like negative 63 on the you know, you could do substitution, but you'd have to solve one of these for like a letter. That would get an ugly number over here, I can tell you that, to do whatever. 
All right, this is the time. Go ahead, number eight. Let's see if you can do this. You should be very excited about trying by your own self there. Okay. Okay. Looking for opposites. Looking for opposites. Uh-oh. Oh, something burning. Who is it? It appears the raven has dropped a black feather on my doorstep. Did it work out, Josh? It worked out. It worked out. So you got like 5,280 for the answer? You got 2911? Josh, do Yeah. Josh will be our model. Mr. 256. Josh, sir, which what number did you use to try to cancel? Did you try to cross on eliminate the X's or the Y's? Oh, I didn't do either of those. <laughs> I thought because they were Case all in all point. Six. <laughs> I thought since Alrighty, they were moving on. Okay, they they, they, they Wait, must I they need on. to be opposites and the same number. Oh, I got a hundred and four numbers. So Taylor will be our next. Taylor, what did you try to get to cross off? The okay. X's or the Y's? So I did, um, I don't know, I did the whole top row times 8. Each one times 8. That's about 8. That's good. Yeah. If you multiply this by 8, you get 72. Yeah. This times 8 gives you 64. They're not the same. They're not opposite. No, then you do the bottom row by 9. Okay, good. That's we got somewhere. Times 8. Yes. I agree. I'll go with that. And the bottom times nine. That's not what I mean. You don't. You don't have to do this like this. I mean, you can do. You could have done this times three and that times ten. This way, you get the same answer. You get the same answer, Taylor. It doesn't matter. Actually, Taylor, I would pick your way because these already were opposites. Yeah, that's why. All right. So you end up with negative seventy-two x. Yep. Minus sixty y equals negative eight. On the bottom, you get eighty y. Wait, wait. Yeah, oh. 80, 80. Oh, well, I'm going to let you this becomes positive 72x minus 27y equals negative 99. And the x's go away. Negative 80, negative 27 is negative 107y equals, oh look, negative 107. How about that? Divide by negative 107. Divide by negative 107. Y then equals Y. So I did it. Then you put one in for Y, doesn't matter which one. I'll go bottom. 8x minus 3 times 1 equals negative 11. 8x minus 3 equals negative 11. Add 3, add 3. 8x equals negative 8. Divide by 8, divide by 8. x equals negative 8. Yes. So, okay.
It doesn't matter if you got if you got the y's to drop out, it would you'll just have different numbers, but you'll still get x and y to be those numbers. It doesn't matter. Yes. I got that. Charles. Couldn't you have um when you got when you put the y for um eight x can you have the answer eight? Okay. Y equals one. You put one in for the Y. So you either put the eight one in here for this Y or the one in here for that Y. You don't put it into the X because it's not an X. Perfect. 